Here we go. Here we go. Dang it. Persona. Engage. Hello, my pretties. That's what it is. Do you get it? Oh. Hello, my pretties. Got it. The witch is back. Oh. That's it. I like it. Thank it's you. Country. Today we're doing something unhinged and different. Mm -hmm. This is Mikey, my boyfriend, and we're doing my boyfriend does my tarot reading. And if he were a tarot reader, this wouldn't be weird. He's historically not, but he is today. Yes. Very much not. Um, I don't know where to begin. We did get the Crow Tarot. And it looks similar to a traditional like Rider Waite tarot deck, but it does have slightly different imagery. But a lot of it is the same. It's just they're crows instead of people. You lost me at Rider Waite? When you think of like traditional tarot imagery, that yeah. is generally based on the Rider Waite deck. So this is gonna go great. Yes. I believe in you. Intuitive tarot reading is a thing. But do you need any information from me before you can start? How many of these things am I supposed to to do? Is this like Texas Hold'em? Do you just throw out six of them? You can. Normally you would uh, have a like question in mind okay. and then each card will represent a different aspect of that question. One of the common ones is past, present, future. But normally it would be like if I, if I came to you and I said, I have questions about my career path, okay. then you would do a spread to answer my career path. So we'll go with that. Do I just go for this? Yeah. Okay. Is this like bad to shuffle in like a deck of cards? No, um, it can wear your cards out a little bit more but people do it all the time. Okay. You could do it the chaos gremlin way. I don't recommend, yep, yeah, mm -hmm. that's that. This Were you is, about to say you don't recommend it? Yep, cause they get everywhere and you don't have the huge table space. No, I so, don't, um, I don't. Here we go. All right, three cards. Swords, I can't read upside down. The Hierophant. Hierophant and Queen of Pentacles. I'm just gonna turn these around. Not so, doing reverse cards today? I have no idea what that means. It usually has the opposite meaning of what it means upright. Got it. Okay. I'm still gonna leave them this way. I believe in you. Thank you. Follow the intuition. Does the number up top equate to how many swords are in the photo? Yes. And you got one sword carrying three. The other one's just kind of perched. I can't tell if this one is stabbed on the bottom. If it is, it's kind of grim. Past work history. Kind of a mixed bag. You had a few different routes going on. It had its ups and downs, and then it kind of just left. You left with what you needed. So whatever that meant is what it means. Present, the Hierophant. Five, right? Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be Roman numerals? Yes. Got it, A plus. Two birds, a key, and then another just majestic crow. I see this as this crow's putting on kind of like a show drawing the attention of the other two, and they're bringing this bird the gift of the key. Now, that can be indicative of your current pathway that you're on. Gonna move on to the future. Queen of Pentacles. You're a witch. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> you get that out of the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, yep. What about the Queen of Pentacles says, says I'm a witch to you? Uh, well, there's apples. Notoriously, most witches that I've known from in the past from Disney cartoons tend to offer apples. Okay. They're usually uh, a trick. And how does this apply to my uh, career, my career future? Uh, well, obviously, becoming the Queen of Pentacles I'd say that is a positive growth to success because it is a pro on a throne, meaning that it kind of succeeded. It got to where it wanted to be. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not That's wrong. Good. <laughs> you're not you're not horribly off track with any of these. Oh, good. This book is supposed to tell me what these things are supposed to mean. Yes. That's a lot of words. I have an app that gives you keywords, like three top keywords. Oh, instead. really? You'd rather get the keywords. Oh, that is so much more friendly. Okay, so where you want to start with the Queen of Pentacles? Sure. Practicality, creature comforts, and financial security. That's good. That is, yeah. 
It is good. It's good. It is a good, it is a good future career reading to uh -huh. have. Is yes. If you are going to do a career reading and your future is Queen of Pentacles, it represents financial security. The Hierophant. Upright represents tradition, conformity, morality, and ethics. Because it came out not upright, that's kind of accurate to what yes. uh, so, you're doing now. Reversed, it represents rebellion, subversiveness, okay. and new approaches. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, mm -hmm. makes sense, falls in line. Seven of Swords, deception, trickery, and turning a blind eye. Reversed, it represents turning a new leaf, desire to reform, and desire to change. You had a, a wide variety of jobs in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, constantly changing. So if you were telling a story with these, uh -huh. then this one, the Seven of Swords reversed, would probably most represent the desire to change. I was constantly turning new leaves because I was like trying to find a different way out. Yeah. The Hierophant represents rebellion. And uh, like, I'm gonna go on my own path. I'm not doing this because I'm doing the opposite of conformity. I'm not gonna do that old job anymore. I'm leaving that behind. And then the Queen of Pentacles in this story shows that that was a successful choice. Yeah. How do you feel about your your interpretations? I feel like it crushed it. You did. You I feel like I did a great job. Nailed it. Um, I'm proud of you. Stumbled through. You actually did a really good job. All right. I guess that's. I guess that's it. Not unless you want to do a reading for me. On camera. Sure. I'm nervous. I just did the first one I've ever done, not knowing any of these cards. I guess I'll ask it about my career path. Your past. Your present. And your future. Page of Wands. Okay. Reversed. Lack of direction, negativity, and feeling caged. <laughs> Ten of wands, reversed. An inability to delegate and a lack of priorities. And the two of swords. Difficult choices and indecision. Ah. So as a story, what we're looking at is you feeling caged. Mm -hmm. You feeling like you have a lack of choices ahead of you or like you were sucked into a choice perhaps. Inability to delegate and the lack of priorities. Yeah. And your future represents uh, the inability to choose, but it also represents that you do have choices okay. that you're going to have to make. So you're going to have to, when you get there, choose for yourself and be confident in your choice. Oh boy. That that is the correct path. Yeah, no, I definitely feel attacked. I have been told multiple times I have trouble delegating. For the most part, spot on. You know, felt trapped in my past job. Current jobs, very, very happy with, but definitely trouble prioritizing and delegating a hopeful future. I just need to learn how to make decisions. I'm sorry I read you to filth on the internet. It's okay. I mean, uh, it wasn't a bad filth. Thank you so much for watching. Mikey, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>